live. Oh, it is it is time again for yet another stream. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Uh, if you haven't, uh, I streamed on Thursday. I played a game in USA. Um, the stream archive is probably still on uh, as of uh, right now on stream. But if not, it's on my YouTube. So you can watch it there if you want. Um, but today, I'm going to be playing in another game that I played uh, back in the day. Um, yeah, again, this one, I don't really know like, why in particular I went to play it, but we'll go for it. So, today, I'm going to be playing Super Mario Land. Uh, Land. Voice is too quiet, music is too loud. I think the music was too loud. I, I think I had the music up a bit too loud, whoops. Um... So... This game sucks. <laughs> nah. Um... <laughs> well, how to show that you're using... How to show that you're using an emulator just straight off the bat. Love. Love it. Uh, so yeah, so this is Super Mario Land. This is a game that I played once and never really played again. Uh, I remember when I played it for my YouTube channel back in 2008. I played it using everyone's favorite emulator, Visual Boy Advance. And I explicitly turned on at the beginning an Infinite Lives cheat. Uh, I'm gonna try and play this legit. We'll see how far I get. But considering it's not like too long a game, who knows? Um, I don't really, uh, like, I'm not really gonna stick around, uh, to like, show it off for longer than I really have to, but, uh, I've got a follow-up where I can just start playing the sequel, because that's another game that I would really love to continue playing. I forgot the Can-Can. I forgot the Can-Can is the, uh, the music. Oh, we're at the end of the level already. Sweet. Ha! <laughs> Love it. So, anyway, yeah, I... Uh, I'll take the Five Flower. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Uh, anyway, so... Yeah, Super Mario Land, I'd never really played it, um really as a kid or anything, I think I was a little, mm, I'm a dumby. I think I was a little, um, too, too young for the very original Game Boy stuff. Um, I actually, I had never owned a, um, original Game Boy as a kid, but I had gotten the Game Boy Color, um, which allowed me to kind of pick up a bit of a back catalogue of Game Boy games. Um, not too many, I, don't, I didn't play too many, but... Uh, the obvious one being, like, Pokemon, you know, you go back and you... Oh boy. <laughs> uh, so I had missed out on Super Mario Land. Um, I had played, uh, at the... Around the same time, I played Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, which is a, um, a pretty faithful port of the original NES game. It has one, uh jarring issue with it, and that is, um, the screen. The NES has a few more vertical pixels than the Game Boy, uh, did, and so, uh, in order to maintain pixel accuracy, there's a little bit of the top of the frame that you don't get to see all the time. Um, you can hold up to look up, because it's not like the original game used up in any way apart from top pipes and climbing by- actually, I don't even- no, there's top pipes and... Are there top pipes in Mario 1? I don't even know. So I feel like the one way to actually uh, win this game is to make sure I get those bonus lives. I really need to get those bonus lives, because otherwise I'm not going to have lives. And if you get three every... Well, maybe not every level, but if you get three in a lot of levels, that'll probably save me a bit. Uh, I remember that the checkpointing was quite forgiving, but I don't know if the uh, action replay code was just doing anything off that. Oh, uh... uh... Yeah, I remember... So... Yeah, when I... Re I remember I played this game... 
and the emulator didn't support the uh, the Super Game Boy um, looks. So I'm currently running uh, with I think just like Super Game Boy One. No, oh, I touched the brick. And now I remember thinking these were enemies here. It's a lot easier when you got a bit of color on the screen, you know. Alright, here I go. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> Other than that, I don't really remember too much of this game. I just know that it's four worlds, each have three levels, and... Uh, if I play my cards well, then it should be simple enough. Um... So this was the Mario game that introduced everyone's favorite... Uh, character Daisy, or... In this case, a fly. I don't know what the text is supposed to represent. Like, thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy. No full stop after the Daisy. So, is that Mario saying that? He comes in on a spaceship as well in this level. This is that one uh, music in that one seal video that everyone loves. I love it. I want a pet seal. Pretty banging song though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this progress bar is a bridge. You have to really use your imagination on there. Well, actually it's not even like because it's the original Game Boy. I think it is because they wanted to really have the camera zoomed out and have that like full height experience that Mario typically has. And obviously they went a little closer in for Mario Land 2. But it's kind of interesting because it's it's also like, man, like that sprite is 8 pixels tall. Whereas like most things on the NES, you know, you usually give yourself 16 pixels. You can at least tell what something is. So... Yeah, it's an era that I never really encountered too much. I don't know, it was a little, a little beyond me. I kind of just like jumped in when um, 3D was starting to become a thing. I think the easiest thing is just to hit A when Mara's at the bottom. Which I didn't get, but I also got two lives and I will take that. I will rather take two lives. Uh, so Mario can still run across some, some bricks. Brown bricks. I remember having a really hard time playing this. Maybe it was, um, the lack of control off. <laughs> yep, okay. So back to the beginning again? Almost. It's literally back to where I was. Yeah, I'll take it. There's a fair bit of stuff going on just then. And I'm like, I don't know how to... how to interpret any of it. I just kind of go. You just make the jumps and you just go for it. Oh. And I am... Am I exactly where I died? Maybe not, I might be a little bit before. Yeah, I'm a little bit before. So, I do remember that none of these are uh, regular Mario enemies, they're all... Uh, renamed variants just because Mario, well, because they all blow up, or something like that. Ah! So alas, because I didn't get the top, no extra free lives for me, which, it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely one that, you know, the less opportunities I have, the... Oh yeah, this! Ah, Mario eats mushrooms through uh, his little submarine wall. I always, like, take for granted, like, whenever a game has, like, so many different game mechanics to it. You know, like, you, you play, I mean, the obvious, you know, way too many mechanics is something like a GDA, because it's like, oh, it's got all these mechanics. Um, and then it's just like, the only kinds of people who would play tennis are the people that the game's ironically mocking. 
that kind of that kind of stuff. Where it's just like, yep, tennis. Everyone's favorite Mario enemy, Octopus. This is probably prime real estate for some points. And I'm not really getting. Oh, I guess maybe. Octopi uh, 800. Oh, I wonder what it says on the text. Did I establish 100 coins as a one up? Maybe. Might be. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> that's a sound effect. I. But yeah, I always forget, like, just how raw, like, old Game Boy games were, because it's like. I mean, you bought Tetris. It just played Tetris. You know? No sleep. You can't sleep during a stream. What time is it Pacific? 4.30 a.m.? That's not Pacific, it's Eastern. <laughs> Still, 4.30 a.m.? <laughs> Easy time. I actually, really curiously, like, I was looking at my YouTube analytics just generally. And yeah, while most of my viewers are from, oh, I guess maybe it's 4.30 my time. 4.30 a.m. my time, so whoops. Um, but yeah, no, I was looking, I was going like, oh, okay. Ah, you see? I lined it up. Um, but yeah, no, it just kind of seemed that, like, most of the viewers, and granted, that's not really viewers on my newest videos. That's a lot of people who just want to watch Toy Story 3. Maybe I'll get around to it. I'll give myself a bit more time if I'm playing. I'll give myself more time if I'm playing uh, any of the Toy Story games. Maybe not the first one. Oh, hello there, Auntie Peter. How's it going? The man, the myth, the legend, Auntie Peter. Oh, nothing hurts more than touching the side or falling off and still touching the not Cooper on the way down. This game, it really wants to ramp up the difficulty. It's got- oh, up. Mm. Mario has concrete shoes in this game. He's not the most able. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is where the nerves kick in. Listen, I didn't die before 2-2. Oh. Okay. What did I what did I learn today? It's called always trust your instincts. And my instincts tell me to just keep going forward. Keep moving to the right. And at some point, you will succeed. Oh. <laughs> ah, I, I'm getting, getting very anxious. Because I'm like, oh boy, like if I'm just burning through all these lives on 3-1. Oh, 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 don't. Oh gosh, he's, he's really coming for me. Yeah, the rock! Look, that's exactly what happens. That's exactly what happens to me. Is this a mush? It's a mush. It's still over a pit. It's not very kind. Oh. There we go, that's the uh, intended effect. Ugh. Well, uh, at least I literally hit a checkpoint. Yep. Okay. 
I will take it. Oh. Good, I'm really not good. Well, I say I'm really not good, but I'm in 3 2. Now, remember those spiders? They come down, you jump on them, and then they yeet out of the way. Is this game stingy on mushrooms, or is it just I'm bad at finding them? It is the game who is wrong. Every time. There's one, and then it just goes straight over. Oh, yeah, a spider. Ah, oh, hmm. I panicked. Okay. Spikes. Who's, who's set me up for this? Why is it that, like, everything is out to get Mario here? I gotta, like, trigger these spikes, man. Oh, I'm now anxious and, like, going anywhere. I'm, I'm anxious, man. I'm gonna trigger spikes, I'm gonna trigger this spider thing. Ugh! Here he comes. Don't let him get you. Return of the rock. Is this, uh... <laughs> I wonder how hard, like, this background would have hurt on the original Game Boy. You can see it's like two frames as well. All I got to do is be awesome, and this will be a cake breeze. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, you thought I was gonna screw it up this time. Well, so did I, so... Who's laughing now? Not really me? Hey, thanks for the host. There we go. Three more lives, topping it up. Topping it up. Oh yeah, this one was like an overworld kind of level. Ah! <laughs> well, no more money for me. Oh, really no more money for me? Mmm. Do not. The trick is, just don't die at the same place. And no one will make fun of you for too long. Uh, it, mm. I committed without looking. Well, yep, those bonus three lives, they're all gone. <sighs> Still well. That's an eye make fun of me. Oh boy, okay. That's how it lines up. That's out of sequence now. That is... More out of sequence than it was just a moment ago. That was my... That was my fear, that this would just go out of sequence. Alright, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'll take it. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's the point of jumping up here? This one passing? Got it. Mmm! Mmm! He's a rock! He just sinks! Okay, at least I got a one man. Hope you appreciate these, uh... Well, I guess it's not quite the same. Uh, bits of platform. Oh boy. Ah, mmm, mmm. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Ah, uh, they're getting tougher, man. They're getting... 
Oh, and Andy can't stay on it for too long. Okay. So that goes under on the left too much. Oh boy, how does Mario sink like a rock? There he goes. Oh, now I gotta... God, he jumps all the time. Oh, and I gotta get that bit done again. Oh. Oh, the fake out almost didn't fake me out, almost. Rock. Okay, we got the mush. We got the mush. Okay. Alright, just gonna... Whoop. Whoop. He spits the rocks. <laughs> I'm glad I had the mush. <laughs> Ooh. You get a lot of points from time, I tell you. Just speedrun this game, that's how you get the score. Oh, thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy. Ah, I'd be terrified if Princess turned into a spider. Any princess? I don't really have any princess in particular I would, like, pick. Oh. My knowledge of real life princesses is kind of low, so I don't even know. Oh yeah. What's the what's the name of the? Du -du 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 it's such like an overdone trope. Oh yeah, and it's got the little ninja girls. Or the dudes with long hair. I won't judge. The Chinese motif? Yeah, I don't... Oh, is it just called the Chinese motif? Dang it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Too good. Too good. Yeah. I don't think there's any... The Oriental Riff? That probably sounds right. Using the word Oriental is, like, I don't know... Not, not saying that it's bad, it's like... It's such a older term. Like... It's great in that regard. Probably a lot of like hidden pipes and stuff that I'm just never hitting. Oh, I just real I was holding right for so much then, but it's because I jumped first. That's what made it like like made me kind of go, oh, why is that not going? I swear. Maybe I should have inputs on screen. Just so you can see. Yeah, I, I looked at that and it didn't like click in my head they were the falling ones. Oh boy. Ooh. Annihilated. Absolutely destructed. Good old Mario 1 rules. You picked up a fire flower, but you're small? No fire flower for you. I jumped. Why did I jump? Oh my gosh, this is... That's like, you, you know in like, regular Mario when it goes freaking Hammer Brothers spam? That's... That's that. And that was the end of the level as well. Too good. Alright, I can, I can keep continuing on with six lives. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah! Oh, they threw me off, but at least I've got that. The 
good thing is I remember 4-3 is a flying level. Hey, there you go. You like how they added like that specific like fire flower in the or it's it's not a fire flower, it's like a power ball. Except you can do that, so uh, it's kinda worthless sometimes. Oh and you can't go left as well, yeah. I'll take the coins, but... Ooh, is that a fire bar? I think it is. That either means I'm approaching Bowser or... This guy's got some weird tastes. Alright, here we go, just... I was gonna absolutely leg it. Nuclear waffles? Yeah, then the nuclear waffles. The snake is just me IRL right there, he's... He just goes bleh! Bleh! Ooh, he spits backwards! Let's take him out first. Oh, It's that casual, like, just respawn. I tell ya, it's it's a little too forgiving. I think I only missed one of these. What was it two? I think may have, maybe I missed two. So I feel like 12 year old me on a, um, on a keyboard probably couldn't play this game. Ah, oh, they, they throw me off. It has been too. Yep. Okay. Then you shoot ducks. They're j they may not even be evil. They're just there. Mario's like, well, either they're gonna hit my propeller, or they're gonna hit my laser. Give him the... <laughs> the less painful option. But yeah, I, I... I mentioned earlier, I was like, oh yeah, like, games having multiple gameplay mechanics. This one, like... Yeah, there's two mechanics, but... Uh, two's more than... one. Or zero. I guess. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of, I mean, it's kind of interesting having, like, a Mario game do non-platforming-ish stuff. Even if it's only, I mean, it's a remarkably short game, isn't it? Like, I don't know, there's, there's long Game Boy, like, one game, Game Boy 1. There's long Game Boy games out there. Um, the, uh, the Retro Achievements, uh, Achievement of the Week for last week was Mega Man 5 on the Game Boy, and I'm like, yeah, like, that's about as much content as, like, a Mega Man game would be. Eight levels, bit of a boss gauntlet in the air, like, yeah. Like, it's, it's pretty much has, like, and you got games like Pokemon, where it's like, yeah, like, they cram a ton on the cartridge. You've probably got, like, I don't know too many, like, Oh, regular Game Boy games. Ooh. I don't know too many regular ones off the top of my head. I know quite a few like Game Boy Color ones. But I'm gonna say it's cheating a little bit. The fish! Uh, is this the end? It is. <laughs> Nothing screams villain more than cloud shooting ducks at you. Such a wonderful sound. But then, you thought it was over. And then all it is is a reasonably predictable shmup. I think that was it.
I think that was it. Oh, Daisy, Daisy. Thank you, Mario. Your quest is over. And what's over here? That is correct. Another plane. Plane? Rocket? I guess it's a rocket. It fires out of the bottom. Really shouldn't be aerodynamically stable though. <laughs> uh, so that was uh, Mario Land. Uh, I think my stream's been going for just about 30 minutes, so... Yeah, um, I'll, I'll play some Mario Land 2, just to fill a bit of time, because I did want to at least go for an hour. Um, Miyamoto, that's not Miyamoto, wait a minute. Uh, back in the days when your credits could be like one name, like this one guy did all the code, and he probably knows how everything in the game works. And then, like, it takes, like, one guy to design, it takes, like, one guy to make all the sound effects. Now it's like, dude, it's so crazy just how games have scaled nowadays. Like, jeez, like, I I'm looking at these console launches, which, by the way, consoles have launched. I think, uh, when I streamed last, uh, the PS5 had just come out, or almost come out. Uh, but now they're both out, ish, ish, you can't really buy them, but for the people who have gotten theirs, then they're technically out. Um, but yeah, like, just know any game that's on these systems, it's just like, man, how many people does it take to make a game nowadays? And you still pay close-ish to the amount that you always did. Close-ish, because now DLC and the fact that they are trying to bump up the price a little bit. But yeah, well, that was uh, remarkably simple for me. There's a score that will disappear the moment I turn off the game, but yeah, no, I thought it was pretty alright. And now I get to rub in people's faces that yes, I have legitimately beaten Mario Land now. So I'll hit a brief intermission and we'll open up another game. Don't double up, don't double up. <laughs> yeah, it is louder, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I had it a bit louder than me, so... And it probably still is to some extent. And here we are, yet again, it's been- oh crap, maybe I should <laughs> update the, uh, the stream info just so. So I kind of booted it up before just to see that it actually works. This is not the, uh, Proton John stream. Uh, so what do I remember of this game? I remember that the camera panned up, I remember that it's green. I don't remember quite the green aspect, but I do remember it being a little bit, uh, like, floatier as heck. And you grab the shells, I remember that. Like, they seem to have taken a lot of sprite design from Mario World, but because the, uh... The Game Boy has a couple of fewer pixels on the screen, it's, uh... A little close. I'll get there. I will get there. I will actually get there. There we go. I kind of like how this is the same theme as that, uh, menu music that I didn't sit on very long. You got Piranha Plants, you got Koopas, you got... Goombas. It's a Mario game. You got hearts, because, uh, it's not like you can really tell. Oh, it's such a vibe. That is, like, such a vibe. Yeah, I guess it's got a battery save, so that's more than Mario Land. But it's not like you really need a battery save on a 30-minute game, do you? 
Alright, here we go. I remember this just being tough as nails. Ooh! Ooh! Cool! Sweet! Then you had to figure out where you even wanted to go, and I think I always went left. I just went clockwise around it all. So we got the tree zone. The tree zone. And then I remember really getting upset uh, as 12 year old me because there was a level where you would constantly like pace back and forth um, but just, you know, going up. This is- this game is just giant world. It- it pretty much is. Oh, jeez. This is just the Proton John game, isn't it? They got the invisible blocks, they got... The music, and that's all you need. This guy is ready. He is ready to go. But yeah, it's, uh... I mean, you don't move too far, so it actually kind of works out. Uh, this was all part of the grand plan to ignore these frogs. But not that one. <laughs> ah, he's arrested me. At the very least, you've got those bells as your checkpoints. But I think you still have to not die. You do have to not die. But uh, I think I think the uh, it's generally a bit uh well, I wasn't going to say more forgiving. I think it's more more open about how the the game rules kind of work. Oh. Oh yeah, and you can press it down A and you do the spin. Yep. I don't think select anything. Oh. Well, I think there's a bit more meat on this game than, uh, well, Mario Land. And it came out in, what, 92? Like, in the same way that, like, original NES you know, like, Mario 1 existed, but obviously, like, Mario 3 is, you know, like, peak. What can you pull off on an NES? How much, like, cool stuff can you do? Um... I don't really know if this... Uh, I, I guess nothing stops you from going back apart from myself. Uh... Yeah, okay, myself. <laughs> I can afford to skip the life in that regard. Oh yeah, and then you had the fat level. It's, I don't know what this is. What is it? What is it supposed to be? The fire flower actually makes the exact same sound, so nice. I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure this is the fat level. You're in the fat of the tree. Trees are fat. Well known fact. Oh snap, he's a bomb. Mm -mm. Oh no, at the very least it's a two hit as well. Ah, uh, buzzy beetle. He's not a buzzy beetle. Oop. is not helping me stay calm in the light of the world. I don't even know. That sounded like more nefarious than it probably was. It is more that... Uh, you know, the nice, happy, fun platformer, and then here it is. Just throwing mechanics that I'm just like, oh, okay. Is this a loop, or is that just a really tall... It's just a really tall... Ah. Alright, here we go. And there you go. I forgot what you get for getting, um, 100 enemies down the bottom. 
Oh, did I need more fire flower? I'm gonna get it. Oh yeah, and there was the carrot. I became myself. Now you get a choice between the ant. I think it was this level. Like, 40%- Hey, that was the fun part I remember. That was the fun part I remember. Oh boy. We got regular beetles. Oh. Okay, I, I will demonstrate why I struggled on that same jump twice. You see how Mario kind of slides? He's got the Mario 3 kind of, you gotta run a bit. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not the easy, ooh. That's, that is just a Mario 3 sprite. Oh, I really jump soon. Hmm. I forgot what this game even does if you game over. It's got a save, so it's, uh... I don't think it's doing anything too, like, iffy. I... My brain just went good morning USA over this. You can see how, like... Kind of slippery this is. It's not the ice level, it's the leaf level. Is that going to fall down on me, or is that going to keep going? That's going to keep going. Or oh, I can just jump into it? Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, two lives, one family. Oh, I wish you could just keep going. Now... See, like my momentum's just not that great at times. I will ditch the coins and instead nearly get killed. You think it's weird for them to share the same pipe? That's what I remembered. That's what I remembered. That's what I remembered. Oh, and there's no bell. The Nobel Peace Prize. I feel like I said that in the original video. I always have these weird, like, feelings sometimes. Uh, not... Uh, not feelings, but, um... Like, sometimes I'll just, like, go, ha ha ha, I'll say a joke, and then... Or, like, when re-watching something, maybe for editing, and I'll, I'll say a joke to myself, and I'll be like... And then I realized I said it in the actual video as well. But not that. Sorry, is how do I'm I'm stumbling hard. I'm stumbling hard. I tell you, um, you know what I mean. Right? It's just like you you think of something and then like you forgot that you actually thought it up in the first place. Man, I am <laughs> relatively, relatively. I don't even know. Use all the words, all the words, all the sports grill, all the words. So they're just butterflies, that's it. Just regular old butterflies. Or they may be young butterflies. I think a butterfly is old. How long do, like, butterflies... We all learn English at some point? Sometimes I forget that I know English. It happens all the time. Well, I nearly got thrown off again. These are the sinking platforms as well. Like, that's just... That's just cruel. And the level ends about... <sighs> I caught myself on that one, at least, but... Stupid, isn't it? In, in it? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.
Sometimes I have those days where I just flub over my language so much. Yeah. You gonna come back? There you go. I tried going under. It wasn't enough. Yeah, I... Man, strong... Strong feelings about this level. I think I save scummed it. I think I used the... The emulator rewind way too much. Um, which is weird, because like, I don't feel like I'm... Having a hard time on this game. This jump is just gonna get in my way. Oh, like, I'm trying to hit A. I'm trying to hit A right as I hit the edge, just so I don't hit the, the brick. Bah. I don't really have much to say about this game though. I, I'm curious, like, uh, how, I guess a lot of people bought it just because it's Mario, like. Yeah, that's right. I was so close to the end. So many times. And I had fallen. And I couldn't get back up. Well, I could get back up, but just let's try again. Here we go. Give me the goods. We got the one, man. like a full boss time. Oh. What's up, Mr. Vidya? How are you going? This owl is the human condition right here. Yeah, I feel like this, this game probably, uh, Deserves a bit more attention than it gets. I think the original Mario Land uh, gets kind of praised a lot, and then this one's just like, yeah, I don't know, but it's on the same system, and I think it, you know, what I imagine a Mario game on handheld to be like is basically this. It's got the carrot, turns you into a rabbit, which is the uh, cheat the level item, as you can see. The good vibes. Like I could literally just do this and then choose it for the rest of the level, couldn't I? Maybe that's the one thing. I kind of like how it's almost the same theme as well on that. Oh, here it comes. Alright, is he just going to do that? Turns out, birds do not like the death. You think they would have paid attention to Mario in the last game? Shouldn't all the birds? Ooh, how very elusive! Oh, that's an X. Uh, what is this? I forgot what this one was. Is this just an auto scroller for? Yeah, I've seen the, um, the color hack version. I feel like there's a certain color palette that I'm, I'm just not using, because, uh... I don't know, pinks and green is an interesting format. Uh, the Game Boy cannot handle this many powerful things, though. I think this is just up here. Your, uh, kill count. Uh, I'm cur oh no. I'm currently using a uh, Gambit. Which is out of development now, isn't it? They kind of stopped. Uh, which is... Curious, but it seems to support pretty much, I mean, like... Pixel accuracy from what they're claiming on, like, nearly every title. Like, 
I think there's like 10 that kind of struggle. Um, and, uh, it's got link cable support. I, I don't know how well it does it, but it tries. Away he goes. Away he goes. Oh, you can't touch the the Kirby enemies. Or that. I would like to play this on original hardware at some point, but uh, VBA does have um. This one does have. Custom color palettes. Uh, it lets you kick in. I think this is using the um, the Super Game Boy uh, color palette, or one of them maybe. But it depends on the game. Like different games uh, leverage the Super Game Boy differently, and I have no idea how well this one does. Because I'm pretty sure, like otherwise, it's just it uses four shades of. Well, the, the four shades that the Game Boy can use. Oh, really? I have to keep the bubble the whole way? Darn. Oh. Oh yeah, and then you enter Pumpkin Zone. anyone can, uh, oh yeah, I remember the enemies. If anyone can recall if I, uh, try going for Pumpkin Hill, um, I'm gonna hit this point. Mario game where you go left? Preposterous. Oh, I've got a bit of the lags. Um, yeah, if there's one thing that I find, um, interesting about, I guess, like, emulation nowadays, uh, a lot of it is quite correct. Like, correctness in, in how the emulator, um, you know, handles a game is really, really important, of course. But, like, it seems that more and more we're, we're getting fewer, like, engine limit breaking ones and instead just, like, well, you, you might get it from time to time, but... Oh, I just... Oh, these platforms never disappear. That's just a visual thing. Okay. Um, yeah, especially for older games. Um, but the one thing that you're seeing, I guess, oh, I guess, you're, you're seeing, like, slowdown reduction kinds of ones, rather than, or, like, overclock, um, kinds of things. So, I, I think, um, was it, like, SNES 9X supports, uh, overclocking, uh, the Super FX chip. So, games like Doom and Star Fox, oh my gosh. Games like Doom and Star Fox don't, like... Um, they don't struggle too hard. Um, and then on the flip side for the 3D ones, for 3D kinds of emulators, you've got the ones where they just go, oh, arbitrary resolution, which is great. And I think there's a lot of people who probably get turned off by seeing a game at its original resolution, um, which is something that I, uh, I'm a bit of a purist. I kind of go with, um, you know, whatever the, the console originally looks like or to some extent, uh, what the Super Game Boy looks like. Um. And we cheese the level. It's their fault. Oh, oh it's another f well, it's not fat, I guess. It's the next worst thing. Regular water. But yeah, I'd, I don't think that's a really, like, a wrong way to play emulated titles, and if anything, like, that's the joy of emulated stuff to begin with. Dang it. Um, it's, it's, it's just, you know, it opens up the ability to play these games in a very, you know, in a bit of a modern context. Even if, even if, uh, technically, people should not have the, uh, the games themselves, the recreation of how the platform runs is always something I highly admire. That's why I think, uh, like, 
the really general purpose ones, so like, um, Mames, try and one. Uh, glitches and general compatibility, playability, a zero point whatever second of lag, don't bother me because I don't speedrun. Yeah, I, I mean, I do like a little bit of responsiveness, but I also feel like, yeah, I would rather my game not, um, sorry, and I, I guess like in the same way that like this game has been encountering like sprite limits, so it just like, that's a ghost, I can't touch it. <laughs> um, it doesn't necessarily make the game like laggy, because it still responds quickly, it's just that the game itself slows down. Oh, he's just got the Medusa pattern. Yeah. Oh boy. But yeah, I, I definitely think that... Um, yeah, the, there's no real, like, wrong way to, to play em emulated titles, and if anything, like, you know... <laughs> with uh, the more modern day and age of remastering titles, and even if remastering really doesn't mean too much in some cases, uh, I think people are very willing to play, um, I guess, like, newer versions of games. Game versions that just run better or have, like, some limitation, uh, removed. I played the, um, was it the Duke Nukem 3D, uh, Gearbox remaster, and I know there's this e 32 and I know there's, um, the Megaton Edition, and I, I own both of that, well, I own, um, the 3D ROMs version, which uses e Duke, so that's nice. Um, but, uh, one thing I found interesting about the, uh, the Gearbox version was, uh, the developer commentary, and the fact that they got the original map makers to make, uh, eight more levels for the game. And so what they talked about was how they decided to make some levels that didn't have to worry about engine limitations, because, uh, or about performance. They had a certain target that they had to meet, um, and they tried to, you know, cheese the game a little bit at times to, um, you know, to make sure that it ran at a pretty reliable frame rate, and especially for consoles, because I think they did intend for... I don't remember what that enemy was, I really don't. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, like, uh, when they made this episode, they went pretty overboard, and, uh, like, I think they kind of succeeded in... in to an extent that it's a really good, like, just going, yeah, this is what you can do on the engine. This is what you can really do there. Now, I know on the flip side, you got games like uh, Ion Fury, where uh, they're not targeting consoles at all. And on top of that, they are incredibly, like, well, I'm not going to say the mod makers are necessarily better than the... Uh, original devs, but I feel like the original devs still wanted to keep it kind of in line with the end, I am trapped. And I think you gotta go left, don't you? Yeah, you escape out the first one. It's a shame they put in this really good funny thing. No bunny for me. Oh. oh, you can't touch the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, too bad you gotta walk back. Walk a shame. Is there a power up anywhere along here? That kind of just seems like a lot of coins. Then you got this bit. Maybe there's a power up down below. I don't need it though. Um. Yeah, it's it's curious, I guess. And I fell on the last one. And I don't even think there's a power up. Hmm. Or I'm missing something. One of the two, but. There wasn't anything right here, huh? You just go in. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, whoops. There's a power up in one of the Kaizo blocks. Oh, is there in, in one of them? The question is, which one? I guess you can technically try all of them. Yeah, we'll go for that. We'll, we'll give it a go. Uh, okay, so it's not the very first one. Oh, can you not go back up? Oh! Oh! Dang it! So on the first one. This is in the second one. The second one's not even a Kaizo trap. Ah, there you go. And it's a fire flower, it's just straight up. Can you not is that just like a dead pipe? It doesn't even go up or down, it's just there. Hmm. Well now I can safely go back and get my fire flower. Die, boo. Uh, I haven't found the secret levels. You know, I never even knew there were secret levels in this one. I guess the name of the game is Mario and the Six Secret Coins, so... Maybe I should have guessed. That's a hot pot. So yeah, are the bosses all three hits? I can't even remember. Um... Yeah, so for context for the people who are just, uh, tuning in, um, so I used to run, there are two in Pumpkin, jeez, wow. I, um, I played a bunch of games on my YouTube channel way back when, in 2008, when I was a wee young 12-year-old, uh, kid who definitely could have been on YouTube at that time, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, the Mario Zone, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, this was one of the games, and that was back when you just, you would just download a game, just off, uh, not Emu Paradise, it would have been, like, some, oh, I don't even know, not Cool Rom, there was, there was another one, and it was, like, notoriously, like, one of the first ones, I think Romulation was one, and it notoriously got, like, was, one of the first sites, like, hugely struck by Nintendo's DMCA stuff, which, I mean, kind of rightly so, like... Trouble with all emulated stuff is that, uh, Nintendo at any point in time can go, we want to re-release this exact thing, and you also don't own, uh, this game, like, so why are you hosting on the site? And it's, I mean, copyright law is fair enough, but, yeah. Uh, that being said, they didn't strike YouTube videos, um, that much. At all. Actually, never. Really. It wasn't until like 2011? 2012? The screws, of course. Uh, it wasn't until then when the DMCA... Yeah, Cool Roms. Cool Roms is, is where it's at. Um, to the people who are still pretty in tune and... <laughs> oh, okay, real talk. Like, there were so many, like, bad actor programs. Um, way back when, and I fought for ever- and I missed the thing. DG Emu? Yeah, that was- that was another one as well. And I'd always fall for all the- all the sus things, all the sus things you download. Um, there's a- uh, I think like, um, there's one that does a lot of disc games. Um, and uh, they just notoriously have like a downloader that you can use, and you gotta flick a checkbox to, like, not use the downloader. Hey, thanks for the follow, I like, man. Yeah, I... I am so sad I missed out on... Actually, I, I really could, couldn't I? I could just find a, an R4, and just, like, for an older system, and just, like, you know, pop an SD card in, and away I go. Um... Cause yeah, that's one thing that I've always encountered, is that like... I don't know, I don't know, piracy, I don't know, but it's just like, yeah, there's all these old games that are never going to get re-released. In like, their original forms. 
you are never gonna see, like, Nintendogs appear in a DS form ever again. Is that... did they... mmm, mmm. A few places in this level you see four b background balls close to each other, a square shape, they all hide a secret block. Um... No, oh, go, go all for the spoilers, because, like, this is technically my second playthrough of the game, so... Uh, any, anything new, or that I don't know about, like, that's, that's all cool, that's all fine. Ooh. Um, yeah. All the spoilers, the more useful stuff, then. Oh, this is a different, uh, any game? Maybe it's different in each world. Nice. Super Mario Land has six secret levels. Funny entrance, all of them. It's the best part of the game. A uh, good way to back, back up games is email them yourself. Older games from the 80s and 90s usually won't overtake any email data limits. Um, I, I legitimately, like, I've... I've got my, uh, my reserves. You find a place that's doing, like, full whatever- Ooh. Oh, that- okay. That's- that's not a friend. Uh, you find a pla- oh. Secret levels themselves are boring, but you should play them at least once. I'll definitely keep an eye out if I can find any. I assume there's no, like, clean way of replaying old levels, but because you can just- Replay, like, start the game from scratch, and then replay any, you know, world you want. I assume there's not really too much of a hassle to get to the secret levels. Um, but yeah, no, I find the best thing, uh, if you are on the hunt for certain, uh, expired, uh, video games is, uh... Ah! Oh! Yeah, that one's one for the cringe book. Um, find a torrent of, uh, people doing complete ROM sets, and then never, ever, delete them. And there you go. You now have every game known to man. Ugh. Oh. I realize the coins keep going up as well. There's a fan-made Game Boy Color port. It's very faithful to the original game, but all the graphics are colored. Yeah, I, I, um, I 100% could, uh see that. I actually, you know what's a game that I've never, um, really played? Metroid 2, like the, the Game Boy one, and I don't know, maybe it's the colors, maybe it's the zoomed in aesthetic. I really should have played either, oh yeah, oh that was fan made? Oh, I, I'd seen it in, in, um, in sets, I didn't even realize, like, yeah, that was fan made, yeah. I assume it is just like a straight... Um, okay, just, just gotta learn to not do that. Um, I assume it's not a... Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I'm learning the hard way. I'm learning the hard way. Um, yeah, I remember there was the, uh, the Metroid 2 fan remake, uh, that notoriously got shut down. A randomizer. Um, yeah, I, I do agree that, like, randomizers, randomizers are great fun. But, yeah, knowledge of the game beforehand always goes, goes well for that, um... Metro 2, uh, if you can stand that there is no map, nothing to tell you what to do, and you have to figure out everything. I... think I know, like, the main gimmick, which is you go around trying to kill the 40 Metroids? Uh... I don't know if, uh... probably know this, the castle's much higher than anything else in this game. Uh, in the castle spin jump on the warrior heads. Okay. Um... Yeah, I do remember the castle being kind of mean. Oh, oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. I guess this is as good as mine, unless I had to carry a Cooper shell for a while. Oh, it's not like this fella, is it? Uh, 
Hey, thanks for the follow. Yeah, there's, um, it, it does feel like there's a lot of, like, neat little secret bits in the game. Uh, I'm just gonna... Yep, yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing the do. Oh, here we go. Over and out. They can't stop me. They can't stop me. <laughs> oh, no invisible passages in what look like walls, unlike some games. Yeah, I, I, I can't think of a Mario game that does do uh, invisible passages, but yeah, like it's a, it's a pretty typical thing. I see a lot of. Oh yeah, the Lego level. It's a typical thing I see a lot of like 90s games pull, and it's rather frustrating. I'm playing through um uh achievement of the week, uh, Dragon's Curse on the um it's on the Turbo Graphics this one, but uh, I know it's just a port of Wonder Boy 3 for the the Master System, and it's like yeah, there's like one part where it's like oh there's invisible walls. Hey Eddie, thanks for the follow. That one, actually, that game is pretty good fun. If you've never played, um, that game, Wonder, Wonder Boy 3, uh, Dragon's Trap on the Master System, or more preferably play Dragon's Curse on the, um, Turbo Graphics. It's just a better version. Yeah, if the game gives enough hints, um, I think the only invisible wall that I really encountered in, in Dragon's Curse was, uh, you enter a room and it's just like, it's, you're so obviously trapped that you have to try the, the walls and you fall through. Um... Ooh, he's gone. He's gone. And he's gone. Ooh, he's gone. And he's gone. And he's gone. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I, I, th I think I played the first Wonder Boy. It's just a very, like, uh, kind of one-note arcade platformer. Nothing too, too much to note, but Wonder Boy 3 is, uh, let's just say it's like a, it's like Mario 3 in the sense that it's just, I forgot even what that is. I think it's like a slot machine thing. Uh, this leads to the castle, doesn't it? And then Mario goes, Ha! Huh. It says Mario Land 2. Interesting. Yep. You think it's weird that, uh, it doesn't really indicate... Uh, oh, yeah. Now it literally is the... Literally is the, um, giant world, isn't it? Sorry, um... <laughs> I know, call me out every single time I, uh, say a thing and then I never finish it. Dang it! Um, isn't it weird that the game doesn't indicate... Sorry, not the way the space... <laughs> my, my brain was focusing on the fact that, like, here's Wario, he's got a castle right here, and the game itself doesn't actually describe what situ- like, where this is. Um, or like, why Warrior is there, or anything. It just kinda... Start up the game, save select, and you go in. You, you, you're going. Um, even the original- yeah, the original Mario Land did that as, as well, and it's just like... It, I'm curious, like, what kinds of games, uh, did that. Uh, of the recent memory Dragon's Curse does. It, it actually has like an in media res kind of um, style as well, which I find really nice. One of those uh, Super Metroid openings, you know, where you, you start by effectively beating the end boss and then it's like, yep, no. There's a few games that do that. Yeah, Super Metroid, um, 
Castlevania Symphony of the Night, uh, even Metro Prime, because same thing. I've got the funny number of uh, for enemy kills, so that's nice. Normally when you- yeah, true, true. If there's one thing, I should always look at the print manual. Um, there's a lot of, like, manuals that make some really weird mistakes, though. Like, just things that are not useful at all, or things that are translated oddly. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, modern versions of some of these, um, manuals, they, uh, they will actually just completely change the info that was in the original manual just because, like, like, Paul's voice in, in Zelda. It's like, it's obviously a translation, but it's also like, there's a, there's a fundamental, uh, issue, and that is you don't have a microphone on the NES. So you shouldn't translate it to, don't like hearing people's voice. Because it doesn't work that way anymore. Although most people read that to be just like, nice little flavor text. Oh! Oh, I did... Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think a lot of people interpret it as like, just fun little flavor text. Uh, and not actual like, whoever wrote the translation translated, uh... Directly, and not, uh, noting for any differences. There's probably a few games out there where it's like, the, um... Oh. There's probably a handful of, like, regional differences, and then they get translated. Um, in... I feel like, uh, a Castlevania 2 is like that. That's one where I know there's a, there's a fan patch for making that game. I don't even know, I don't even think it's that bad a game, Castlevania 2. If anything, like, it's the incredibly forgiving brother of Castlevania. Dang it. The fish. The fish, what do you do? Coin. Ooh. I could do with some lives, I'm not gonna lie. I got one, but one's better than none's. Pots level? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I had a remarkably good time with Castlevania 2. Uh, and I went in going uh, off that, you know, that angry video game nerd. Kind of, uh, you know, this game sucks, it's, 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 the text takes too long, and it's like, yeah, you don't really need the, the text to go that fast, because you're not really talking to too many people. There's a lot, there's a fair bit of, like, how is anyone supposed to know to crouch in the corner with the blue orb, uh, to get the tornado to pick you up, like, there's stuff like that where I'm like, yeah, 100%, I, I agree, it's kind of dog. But in general, like, what you get is a nice adventure title, and that's something that a lot of NES sequels did be incredibly different to the rest of uh, the franchise. You got your Mario 2, your Metro 2, your Zelda 2, um, any others I can think of off the top of my head? Not really. <laughs> There's a lot of weird ones, you know, you know. And I wonder if it was just because, like, the idea of a game sequel wasn't really... I don't know, what game solidified the sequel? I can probably attribute some of, like, some of it to Mega Man in the sense that every Mega Man game kind of was the same. There's some, you know, shooty differences, and... I'm gonna get him! I'm gonna get him. No, I'm not. I encountered, I think, like, two enemies. Oh. Yeah, okay. What? Okay. Sure. Meanwhile, nowadays, you get sequels that are, like... You know, half engine just reboots. Um, that sounds like a a really big diss. It's more that um, I 
Ah, oh, those hidden boxes there? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I think the, 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 the game that I'm thinking off the top of my head, I'm, I'm looking at the new consoles and I'm going like, look at that Watch Dogs, like, it looks just like Watch Dogs. Like, I, I can see the obvious, you know, like, Legion mechanic, I can see that's the shtick, but then, like, it kind of feels like, man, this, this, this is very similar to Watch Dogs, which is rather similar to Assassin's Creed and Far Cry, like, Per moment gameplay feels a bit different, but uh otherwise, yeah, it's about the same. Sometimes there are background objects that indicate hidden blocks such as in what tree one and hippo. And yeah. I th I find it's a little hard to even know that like they are doing like background hidden blocks. I'm not too like um like worried about it. Oh, true, the moon level, yeah. I forgot the moon level, whoops. Um, I'm not too, like, fussed about- oh yeah, it's the boss. Um, about trying to find every single secret, but I- it would be nice. Ooh. He do be gone. He do, he was gone. So. Uh, sometimes there's basically no indication, like, for the extra light- yeah, oh, yeah! Yeah, if you were on earlier, like, I remember, I remember as a kid having a huge trouble in that tree level. And then, uh, yeah, just like, yep, I'm going up, oh, I slipped, whoops. Um, one of them was an extra life, pretty sure. Now I'm back at the pumpkin. But I don't want to go to the pumpkin, I want to go to there. I want to go to the there. Uh... I remember I was on the hippo. What did I do earlier? Oh, yeah. Unless this is just a bonus. Oh yeah, that's just a bonus lol. Okay. I thought you could exit a level by hitting select. It's after the bomb spike pit. Oh. Wando loses all of his power-ups. Yeah, there's these, uh, little side levels that aren't parts of the world. I kinda like that, that's actually kinda neat. There's a big, uh, Mario World vibe going on, but it still feels, uh, quite old school. Quite, um, you know, not quite Super Mario 1, but definitely like a, like a light version of, of a, a Mario 3. Okay, we're good. <laughs> and I still didn't get the top. So what I, what happened after I beat the hippo? I couldn't remember. I just appeared here. Okay. That to the right was a bonus level, and... That's that. I'm mental blanking hard. I'm... I'm curious off the top of my head how I got to the other bits. I guess you got the turtle. Turtle zone. Joe. <laughs> Nothing screams water level more than pink. Nothing screams pink more than water level. It's symbiotic in nature. Oh, that shark, he's gone. He and then he fought it. He, he went a little bit further. Just, just a bit of extra. Give me the goods. I don't think I really need the goods. I've got a fire flower. That's basically what I'm gonna need here. That's the boxing glove shark feature on the. Ah, oh, true. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Let's go. This game and the original Mario Land are very like intense box arts. They got the all the stuff going on. This guy is me, Arl. I 
Oh, because I hit 100 enemies. Ah, oh, that's interesting. You can just activate that whenever. Especially when there's not five enemies in front of you. Uh, I may need to fix my text, because my text keeps falling. <laughs> Jonas is very all-knowing, I tell ya. Uh, I am going to reset the text. The little chat text. Uh, so I'm just gonna click refresh cache. I shall reload that. Alright, here we go. I got the rab. Okay. Chat should be reset. Don't worry. Uh... Oh yeah, submarine level. Oh yeah, I remember getting mildly lost here. Just mildly. Yep. Who put the sharks in the submarine? Is this a submarine? Maybe there's too many floors. I would legitimately love to explore. If you get five of the six golden coins, I don't know how to, how to get the space on some blind playthroughs get stuck there. Check the paper manual for a clue. If only I had the paper manual on hand. Uh, I, okay, I... I have half the puzzle. There's one thing to, to you know, get complete ROM sets and stuff like that. There's, there's one thing to get that. There's another thing to get complete manual sets. I managed to get one for the, um, the master system. Yeah, oh, 100%, you can find a paper manual. Do they tell you, like, how to get to the space zone in the manual? That feels a bit more, uh, Nintendo power. Wow. Sometimes the game has no faith in the player, and sometimes the game expects no faith in the player. <laughs> I'm curious how many games that, like, I get stuck on, and then, um... And then I, I look at the manual and I go... Either this absolutely helps, or this absolutely doesn't. Yeah, I mean... Like... A lot of... I don't know, like, it's a general, like, game design trend that, like, people use nowadays, where it's like... If your game requires a manual, it doesn't indicate, like, what to do to the player very well. But then it's also just like... Now, a lot of these games, like, this game's probably fitting on, like, a 512 kilobyte cartridge. Like, it really has to squeeze for that space. <laughs> Pro streamer being out. Yeah, maybe. I had the paper manual when I played it since it was a starting game for the Game Boy back in the 1990s. So I can't tell how hard it is to figure out without. Well, I'll tell you right now. Like, I've gotten this far right now without even, like, having to know anything. Um, I feel like I've played a lot of games in general, so... Uh, things that I usually... Dang it. Things that, like... There's there's quite a few things that I kind of, like, can take for granted. Like, holding down a direction and then pressing a button. Um, I can understand, like, kids just not knowing. Uh, that's a thing. Um... I feel like I could figure it out, at the very least. Oh, yeah, and then this... Whatever that is, I... Uh... Ah. There it is. <laughs> Nearly about to lose it again. Not today. What was the last game I played that had, like, uvula? I'm feeling too off too. How's it go? It goes okay. I've had a, a very, um, uh, introspective day today, but I felt... I'm feeling good. I, I you know, you, you chat to people, you get over... Um, like the things that are hanging you up. Because you realize you're not, um, 100% alone in what you feel. And if you are, then you know it's just you. Which is great. So, um, and then other than that, like, practically, uh, you know, you just... A bit of the daily grind at work, but you... You get there. You get there. You separate your work and your life, and you get there. Uh, in the first block of three question mark blocks back there, there's a mushroom. Oh, yeah, I hate the, um, the mushroom, like... Ugh! Ugh! 
<laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, dude, we should have a catch-up. 30th of November is really soon, actually. Wow. That's two weeks. Wow, it's nearly the end of the year. 2020 has felt roughly the same length as other things. There's only two things that I've really not liked about 2020. It's the uh, people telling me I can't see my friends and uh, things getting delayed. I look forward to, to consumerism and consumerism is the third block. Good thing we got more than one person catching up in the chat, jeez. This is good. Dude, I've actually... Real talk, I tried doing, like, some streams earlier, and, uh, like, a year or so ago. And I played these, like, really obscure titles. Um... And, uh, yeah, I would be the only one playing, watching. Which, it's great for me, they were fun titles, but, yeah, like... I feel like a game like Mario Land 2 probably gets a bit more attention than, uh... Harvester. Although Harvester is a great game. I feel like one of these like dots, but that also just kind of makes me feel like it's just a secret level, like that's just a, an exit. Um, so we got the moon back there. How do we get to the moon? I'm thinking that like either it's something obvious and it's close, or it's... Oh, does it legit get get a lot of attention? Wow, I never knew that. Um, like various retro games, most of them are already streaming on Twitch. Ah, so that's <laughs> that's the key. You stream a game as other people are doing a speedrun tournament of it, and then meanwhile you guys are probably watching me going like, "Oh, dude, you can't even figure out how to get to the space zone." Well, it's not the hippo. Oh, off the top of my head, I can't figure out what it is, because you got the pipe, it just takes you there. I got the moon over there. My brain, I, I'm thinking there's a rocket somewhere on the map. Yeah, I feel like the, um, uh, like the SNES period gets a bit more, um, attention, and especially not handheld titles, which is a shame, there's a lot of great, like, handheld titles out there. I'm gonna give Bowser a visit. Maybe, maybe there's something screaming at me here. It's not Bowser. <laughs> Relatively. True. I think, uh, especially Mario 64 and Sunshine are getting a lot of love right now because, um, uh, the 3D All-Stars, which has a patch now, uh, to allow GameCube controller support on Mario Sunshine, which is very nice. Uh, yep, okay, we're looking up a manual. <laughs> Uh, Super Mario Land 2 Manual. MarioMayhem.com slash download slash Mario Instruction Booklet Super Mario Land 2 Manual GB. There you go. Game Boy and PC only games get more attention from us Europeans. Ah, fellow European. I'm not European. Oh, well, I guess I'm technically a British citizen, but I lived in Australia. Australia, mate. All my life. Maybe I should go on with a thick accent. Yeah, the other one's pretty neat. Um, alright, scroll through the manual. Uh, Mario Land map. Hold down the B button and press the left, right, top, or bottom of the control pad to scroll the map. I did forget that that's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> so you got the star there. I feel like I've seen everything on the map. I don't think there's anything too hidden. I love the water effect, by the way. Like, I know it's just a, um, uh, like the lines going in opposite directions, but it's such a mesmerizing pattern. It's great. I think the way that, like, it doesn't all move at the same time as well. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so... Uh, looking at the manual, okay, so, page one, official Nintendo seal, page two, uh, contents. Story, while I was awake, crusading against the mis uh, the mystery alien, T 
to Tanga in Sarasa Land, an evil creep took over my castle and put the people of Mario Land under his control with a magic spell. This intruder goes by the name of Wario. He has been jealous of my popularity ever since we were boys and has tried to steal my castle many times. It seems he has succeeded this time. Wario scattered the six golden coins from my castle all over Mario Land. These golden coins are guarded by those under Wario's spell. Without these coins, we can't get into the castle to deal with Wario. We must collect the six coins, attack Wario in the castle, and save everybody. <laughs> and alright. Uh, the map has some hints for where the six secret levels are. Yeah, I'm assuming it's where, like, the, the dots are, so I can see, like, two in the pumpkin land. Um, I think there was one past there, so... Uh, do I have a Discord account? Not asking. I do have a Discord account. Um... I don't really, I mean, yeah, like, you probably, if you're on any kind of global emote server that doesn't, there's no global emote servers anymore. Uh, it doesn't show all six. Oh, okay. That's curious. Uh, so then, basic controls, which, yeah, I can basically figure out all of them. Uh, oh, here we go. If you've returned to a stage that you've previously completed, pause the game, press select button to exit that stage. I was almost right. I was almost right on that one. Save data, you gotta always explain it. The many phases of Mario, the power-ups, uh, invincible Mario, there you go. Uh, some enemies, and then we got hints. We got jump, uh, spin jump. I love how this manual is all in the first person as well. To go to the- oh! To go to the space zone, let me ride in the soap bubbles blown by the hippo. That is... yeah. I must have looked this up on GameFAQs way back when. Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, just hold. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? It's not working. Alright, so just keep the bubble. Keep the bubble dream alive. And then at some point I should be able to ex- Oh wait, it's the top exit, wasn't it? I went here twice and I was like, oh, I don't have the, the bubble, I guess I'm gonna go down below. Or I just finished the level, one of the two. Uh, I mean, nothing stops me from running it again. Maybe I should just double check the... Oh no, okay, we're good. It's green! It's the green space zone! So this is just bubble control. Almost. There's no point having bunny ears here, there's no aerodynamics. There's Mario Comic and Nintendo Power back in the day, and some of it had Wario. Yeah, like, this is the first game with Wario, wasn't it? But it wasn't necessarily... Yeah, the... Oh... He goes. I wouldn't mind that life. This game's so floaty. Bit of the, the moon blocks here. If there's one thing I appreciate, uh, bleh, appreciate about this game, it is how nice the variety between the levels are. Uh, um, and they even. I, I'm counting on the original Mario Land. Like, I, I find that the best games, the ones that hold up the most from the, you know, the older retro periods, not necessarily the longer games, but the ones that have. <laughs> Pigs in space on all right. Not necessarily the longer games, but the ones that have like a number of mechanics to them. Because I found, yeah, with the um, with the original Mario Land just earlier, it's like it had the, the flying levels. It had a bit of you know uh, world variety, um, and this game I think does take it like just a bit further. Even if you know you've only got so many power ups, it's like oh, like the water you know world was fa fairly different to the um. Uh, to the, uh, the forest, the tree world, and the, um, and the pumpkin world, and, 
They all they all have that. Birth Warrior and Warrior Land. Warrior Land 3 is the first. Yeah, so I I absolutely do love Warrior Land 2. I'm gonna go with 2. Um just because I like the the way the branching pathways work in that game. It's it's quite neat and fun. And we got a we got a boppin' song. We got angry stars. They're absolutely pissed. <laughs> what do you do to make a star that angry? You make a really bad wish, I guess. You can fly. Oh, can you can you really really fly, or am I just like walking across the ground? Oh, you can fly in this level. Okay. That's pretty neat. I love the Game Boy sound font because I never find it to be like... Well, actually no, there, there's times when the Game Boy sound font can be really, really, really uh, annoying. But I've never encountered it on this game. It's, it's been pretty good. All you gotta do to make good music on the Game Boy is be very reserved. Like, the, it, currently, it's it's quite simple. You got that bass, you got that high synth, and then the high synth is replaced with the melody, and in the back it's doing the percussion the whole time. Simplicity is key. It's it's not a not a not a dig. It's it's exactly what you. Um, I, mean, I mean, what a lot of great chip tune music is. It's taking simple ideas and then. Making them, you know, ultra catchy songs. Because that's, I mean, that's kind of what music had to be like back then. Um, and I think I mentioned this in the, um, when I played uh, Cruising USA. I, I said that, oh, oh, we're already here, jeez. Uh, this is when I die in the boss, apparently. You just, okay, you don't jump on him. Uh, hmm. Well, I've broken your streak. I have died more on the boss than not the boss. <laughs> I've still got a few lives left, though. Alright, give me the goods. So, a mush. What do I, you do jump on top of him, but it's hard to do there. You gotta get it when he like swings around, don't, don't you? It's got these like jerk like things right there. Oh yeah, okay. I see, I see what you mean. Oh, oh, he faked me out. Though. Oh, he's, he continues to fake me out. Oh, okay. I'll get there. I'll get there. Yeah, I, re I remember the naive 12-year-old in me, whenever I'd play, like, any of these older games, uh, I think Earthbound was my notoriously, like, most egregious one. I would just spam the rewinds, spam the save states. And, uh, here's a tricky one. I mean, the other ones, I could just spam the Fire Flower and he'd be done. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Or he can just three cycle himself and uh, I'll take it, I'll take it. And alas with the demise of Space Gerbil Man, we get another coin. Castle time, yeah, jeez. I was not expecting to play both Mario Land 1 and 2 in a, in a single stream, but yeah, I guess we're, we're at this rate. We're, we're going at it. Hardest level in the game? Bring it. I got this. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Whoop. 
You got those lovely windows. You got giant killer platform. You got his uh, twin sibling. You got hog piranha plants. Ooh, okay. At least you can jump on them. Nothing beats the Pog Prime plants. Pog Prime plants. Spoilers well, for next time. If you don't move, Tatanka's bomb projectile doesn't hurt you. It explodes in front of you. Ah, okay. I'm ducking for some reason. I was saying earlier, like, one of the levels was a little mean on power-ups, but then I haven't noticed it otherwise. Ooh, here's some Mega Man kind of stuff right here. Hey, I, I missed that from the original game, the platform ducking underneath. Man, my- what is with the text on the side? Uh... For reference, he said, hit him when he flies upwards vertically, not when he's still flying horizontally. To do that, stay close to the edge of the screen when he moves up. You can hit him three times on one upwards fly if you want. Oh. I have made poor decisions in my life. Oh, and I touched the, the poop. I touched the poop. And there's no checkpoints, is there? At least not yet. So that's probably why it's considered quite difficult. I've made that mistake twice now. Patience, my dear Watson. That's all I think it is. Except that one you gotta really zip for, I think. <laughs> Warrior's there, just sitting on the roof going, Ah yes, what lovely weather to be on the roof. Lightning. Dude, it must feel good to be like, a villain, and you just like, you just have no standards, you just... You just go, you just stand out in the rain. You steal stuff, there's no police. Ah, oh, jeez. Don't try and go for the from one edge of the screen to the other repeatedly. That's a slow recipe to death. Either bottom corner is safe ducking, or you can wait for him to ascend on the side where you are normally on the left. Okay. The worst part is that I had, like, I've just taken the hit the first time. Sure, that looks a little too close. Oh, well, too close for me, apparently. <laughs> I've forgotten what happens when you game over, but I assume absolutely nothing consequential considering that I can just walk straight into the castle. Apart from the shame that I game over in this game. I'm, I'm doing so well, but... Don't game over. You gotta pick up all the coins again. Just take the hit. And soft reset when you die if you have enough time. Oh, actually, what happens? What what does happen when you game over? Uh, if you soft reset when you die, you don't lose a life. I'm gonna keep my retro arc just right on the reset there, just in case. It's a surprise. Cause yeah, I feel like I I cheated an emulator zone and I had like infinite lives on 
I'm in the platform. Oh, I did it. You lose all the golden coins in here. What? Why? Why have they... Why? Why would they do that to you? The worst part as well is that, like, the bosses weren't even too hard. Uh, you must soft reset the next- uh, I'm, I'm just gonna reset the chat again, sorry. I don't know what's going on with the chat. It- it- it's fallen off screen. It gets the- uh... Okay. Should we re reset now? Oh! Yeah, that's kind of cruel that it just chucks all your coins away. Jeez. It's pretty vibing though. You can at least go back to the boss level so I haven't been doing it. Yeah, that is true. We are too heavy. Well, today I learned. If there's one thing I, I have learned from this game that I hadn't learned back when I played it the first time, it's how cruel Game Overing actually is. This is when someone is crying out going, oh god. Gotcha. Gotcha, fam. Got it. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> oh, true. I've got money. Dude, I'm sweating now. I'm sweating now. The tense is on. The tense is going. Alright, so right on the edge. That, mm, Not quite that edge. Spin jump on the warrior head balls. Could this happen to me? <laughs> oh. I think I have died on this level more times than any other level right now. So I guess I guess there's that where it is the hardest level right now. I don't remember it going on for too much longer. I'm getting worse, I'm getting worse. My palms sweaty, knees weak, but I'm sitting in a chair so it's okay. Uh, my arms are spaghetti. Uh, haven't thrown up yet, so I guess it's that. Doing okay. Uh. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that's the, um, the, the catch on the earlier stuff, um, which is kind of odd though, like, I like it in, 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 um, concept, in, well, and, and it's fairly okay, I think a lot of games did that, um, well, sorry, not a lot of games did the open world, but like, games where, like, you can choose what you want to start, I guess a Mega Man is a perfect example, where it's like, technically not too many of the levels are, like, significantly harder than the other ones. There's definitely some that are, but, uh, and ultimately when you get to the boss, um, you know, some bosses are just easier with the mega buster than others. Um, 
Alright, here we go. Well, I gotta make sure it's panned. There you go. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Poor Mega Man. I think it's a part. Second guessing myself so hard. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> oh. Okay, once more with Gusto. Once you got Gusto, you're good. The worst part as well is that, like, it's either, like, touching this thing and just, like... I don't know why I had so much trouble with, like, that one just earlier. Okay. It's, it's just me touching the, the, um, the green Kool-Aid. Can I miss the video? Have a good one. And you get a fire flower? Like, that's not, that's not it. That's not the, the secret a success, or is it? Five flower things. Uh, uh, I was ducking. Excuse me, game. I was ducking. You cannot take this away from me, game. Continually taking this away from me. Okay. Gusto again. Give me the gusto. I need my gusto. Is Gusto even the word I'm looking for? Easy level. I mean, it kind of is. Think about it. it. Like, apart from all the times that I've died, I'm getting this on the first go. So, you know, who's who's the real hard level here? So, I always make it a, a, um, not a rule of thumb, because usually that's, uh, me giving up, and I feel like this is Mario Land 2, like, giving up is not, uh, not the answer. If, if 12-year-old me can turn on- again, again, it's like, it's, it slid me off, there's like a small difference between being on the platform and not, and then at some point, it just didn't like me there. Very odd. Very odd. Uh, um, but yeah, if 12 year old me can use emulator, save state, save scumming, to beat this game, I can do it legitimately on an Xbox One controller. <laughs> but it still counts. There's probably less pa less painful controllers out there. I get like an electric shock every single time I... <laughs> die in this. The worst part is that it's all Kool-Aid now. It's all Kool-Aid. It's not me taking hits. I know, right? The youngster in me was like, yo, I've got, like, I, I can only upload 11 minutes to YouTube at a time. I'm gonna try and, like, just do this as quick and dirty as possible. The worst, actually, yeah, the, the worst ones I, I remember doing Earthbound and, like, yeah, it wasn't just uh, save states, I realize it was speed ups. It's like Earthbound has like pacing and music, and you just miss all of that if I just speed it up. And there were some parts where I didn't record the audio as well, so actually, there were a lot of parts I didn't record the audio, so yeah, it. My oldest stuff, really bad. I try to, I try to be as like, um, presentably authentic. Even if I'm playing this, a really hideous, uh, Super Game Boy Color palette right now. Alright, so what do you say about the, the Warrior Heads? 
just... Oh, don't touch it. Don't... Mm. I have now... Uploads gameplay videos to YouTube when 12 years old, definitely. Yeah. Spin jump on the warrior heads. So that those are the those are the the little platform things. Okay, I the worst part is every single time I've gotten up to it, it's just been like my incompetence at landing on the the one. I know it, it feels like it's the end, and I'm like I'm botching it up every time. Ah, oh, the end is in sight. The end is in sight. And meanwhile, Mario Land 1 is like, ah, the flight level, easy. I've got a feeling this is the one. I've got a feeling. When I call it, 50% of the time it's right every time. The platforms uh, aren't the Wario he heads. Oh, is it afterwards? See how he like kind of ducks into the platform slightly? Just curious. I'm just gonna jump over those. So. Oh, I I always screw it up. Oh, why why am I absolutely horrendous at that? I wish. I wish I could maintain the bunny. The, the warrior heads appear in the four rooms after the platforms. Four rooms after the platforms. Alright, so I just haven't gone to the heads yet, and, and you're just telling me <laughs> spin jump. At least it's not a considerably long level, but the, uh, the game over risk is a little bit annoying, although it's quite easy to boot back up into the game, so I'll give it that. I'll give the game that. heads with Wario faces on them, you'll recognize them. Not the head of Wario, but the torso and the limbs. I... <laughs> Sometimes I just miscall it. Sometimes I just call it bad. Have I been on this level for like 20 minutes now? I think I have. Oh boy, you were, you were not wrong. You, you guys were not wrong when you did say this was the hardest level. Oh. Now what I'm gonna do is make a risky... Uh, one hit. I was getting the fire flower pretty consistently before, so... I don't think I'm at any huge risk to taking a hit here. I might be, given how close I'm cutting all that, but... <laughs> Lemo needs a new pair of shoes. I just need the rabbit, that's all I need. Just, just, just let me have a carrot. Just, just whiz through these levels, just... <laughs> not, not, I did it twice, I did it twice, where I, I kind of jumped, I hit the side, I then walked off, I missed it really big. Oh. I got to the, I got to those crumbling platforms three times, and now I'm, I'm just back to back to choking at an earlier part. At some point, do I just call it there? Do I just go? Yeah, I touched the the spiky ball as I picked up the power up. Or do I just commit? Because I know that deep inside. Every time I zoom ahead, it's one time less I will... I thought I would have touched that. Or I'm 
dead inside, and it's a huge hallucination. <laughs> yeah, every every attempt is one attempt where I hope I don't make the same mistake twice. Making the same mistake twice is the worst thing in my eyes. Like I, I don't, not a not a critique on others, but just like I really do strive to not, you know, make the same error multiple times. Keeps going. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna be stuck on this forever, apparently. <laughs> uh, is this the run killer for all speedruns? Like, every single person just like breezes through the game and then they get to this bit and they're like, yep, progress. Yeah, yeah, we're progress. And it's nothing like. Absurd? Actually, I don't think there's really been any, like, absurd... Um... Except for, except for the tree level. The one upwards tree level with the invisible block, like, right as you're about to jump. This is one of them. This is definitely where the, where the run dies. And you can't, like... Oh, maybe there's a glitch. The blind playthrough test for many streamers. Uh, yes, many streamers spend 25 lives on this. Some blades are through on three lives. Um, I feel like I've probably hit 25 lives. Uh, I'm gonna maybe try and count this and then put it in the description of the, the YouTube VOD, because, yeah, it's hard and glitchless. I'm curious what kinds of glitches... I'm not gonna try them, but I'm curious what kinds of glitches... Uh, a done. I assume maybe like a wall clipping one. But I don't know if the game like properly lets you say for example go up right now. It does, the screen does scroll up. This like set of piranha plant jumps is uh, probably the meanest part, no this part actually. This is the meanest part. Not a true run if you don't execute arbitrary code. 100%, yeah. Alright, real talk, like... Like, arbitrary code, like... Runs, uh, some of the... Like, they're impressive, but it's also like, hmm, does it really count as playing Mario World if you just line up a bunch of Koopa shells and then, like, kick them in the right way and then suddenly you've hit the end credits? Like, I feel like, category-wise... Oh. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> Pug plant. Pug plant. Fly flower, okay. Oh boy. Oh, they go up as well. Oh, oh yeah. I think I've seen like a weird one where it's like, and then you go into like bubble mode. Like everything is just like, not quite full sprite garble, but you're effectively like just jumping all over the place. We've got, like, some weird arrays of levels. That's the war- oh, yeah, yeah. Got it. Mm. Oh, that's a different one. For boss time. He like spews power ups at you, doesn't he? Ooh. 
Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> you know what's the best part? The part I died on the most was indeed like the end of the the deadly one you know one mistake one well I guess I wasn't quite because that was the the one other bit all right the progress is coming the progress is coming I jumped into the spike I keep forgetting the beginning parts of the l- Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no. That's progress. Here's the boss who stole the castle. It's not even his castle. Let's see. Well, I know exactly what he's doing. He stole the coins and he's just being evil. Not for monetary purposes, he's just an adversarial character. I jump straight into that again. I'm starting to get into silly mistake mode where I start taking a bit too much damage, but at the very least, you start with a mushroom. It's probably a refight after it because what Mario game doesn't have a Bowser refight after a fake victory? Uh, Mario 64. Oh, my, actually no, I take back Mario 64 because both of the um, both of the first two Bowser fights only took one hit, didn't he? And then the third one took three hits. So, um, Mario one. Mario 3, definitely. He just kind of appears and then hits the ground 12 times and then... I think maybe we'll find out Princess is in a castle. Uh... 100%, doesn't he? Like... Oh, no, I'm thinking... I'm thinking Wario Land. Where, like... Uh... Mario Bros. 1 of 7... True. No, they are... They are, um... They are Bowser copycats or Bowser... Bowser clones. Fake Bowsers, that's the one, yeah. And depending on which fake Bowser, you will know, either spit fire or throw hammers. You know, it's, it's, it's a slightly different fight each time. Oh, I stood on it. I- mmm, mmm, you know it's the, the- the time I passed that, I skipped the second platform, and then I choked, and I looked at it, and I said, oh, maybe I need to hit the first- need to hit that platform. Mmm. Enemies with illusion- yeah, I'm- maybe Mario's been eating too many mushrooms, you know, he thinks everyone's Bowser at that point. I think Mario would have just gone to the right castle the first time. Nerves of steel, man. Nerves of steel. I'm building it. I'm- I'm building up resilience. It does have three fake daisies. You go, oh, daisy, and then they turn into a spider, and you're like, why is spider daisy? The castle's on the way. He wants to help the toads. Does he really? Oh. It's the lack of the checkpoint that really grinds my gears slightly. 
And it's just the fact that, like, nearly every time it's because I'm hitting the poop. Occasionally, and it's because I accidentally do take an extra hit somewhere. But it's mostly because of that poop. It's weird as well, because, like, this game is a bit, like, kind of floatier than... Um... Mario typically is. I mean, Game Boy, just jump right now, right? Just like, don't jump in the, the, the lava. Or the, the, the green. Because Bowser's Castle has this remarkable green shade that, uh, today. Okay, Mario was on the moon. What stops him from just, like, falling, like, going to the moon and then just jumping onto the, the roof? Hmm. Alright, here we go. Just commit, just commit, just commit. Just commit. That's all you need to do. That's all it takes. Commitment. Perseverance, perspiration, and most importantly, perspiration. I kind of panicked a little bit. And now I'm a little concerned, because i got to fight these, like, the heads in a moment. And I know you get an item after them. But I would like to have three hits for the warrior. Alright, here he goes. Ooh. Oh, I didn't I didn't maintain the spin. Whoops. Ugh. Well that's the worst possible outcome I could have possibly been in. Now I gotta I can't I can't do the spinala. I gotta actually jump on it twice now, don't I? No spin, la la. Ah. Is that the last one? Okay, well, I get a mushroom. Good luck, me. They do the warrior, man. Ooh. Oh, he's got a throne. Ooh. Oh, I jumped early. I jumped really early. Oh. He's faking me out. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. Okay. But wait! There's more! Oh yeah, I remember this. And then you just like meme on- oh! Uh. <laughs> Not taking that, don't it? But wait, there's more. so much. Oh yeah, and then this effect. I was like, whoa! Hey, I did it! Woo! Oh, it took me like, probably 30 deaths. 
Probably. You had it for W for Wumbo when you want it for M for Madly. <laughs> Thank you, Mario. Your quest is over. You just you, you claim the castle back. Do you get a? Oh, this is what th that's the game. Did you use that for anything? Maybe. So I enjoyed this one. Uh. Definitely, I, th I think it holds so much better than the first one. Um, the level variety is great, and is quite tough, but I think most people will excuse it apart from the fact that they have to play the bosses. Um, thanks for the follow. Um, yeah, the refine the bosses again. Like, that's that's a bit dog if you had to. So, But I'm at least glad you can just restart the game. So if reset it, you just literally just pop up right there. Once you load your save. Um, and it looks alright. It doesn't look like a sprite bargle. I hate that about like some Game Boy games, when it's just like, I don't know, it doesn't look newish? Not newish. You know what I mean. Like this, this is clean. It's a very clean looking Game Boy game. Oh, that, that Koopa knows what's up. Don't forget to find the six secret levels to which are accessed from the same zone. Uh, I will give the secret levels a pass for tonight, because I'm a bit sleepy tired. Uh, it's currently 10.50pm in the Sydney land. So do that- I'll- mm, I'll give it- I'll, I'll give it a, a post-mortem later. I'll give it a post-mortem at a later point in time. Don't worry, man. An interview today. Yeah, yeah exactly, it's the safe feature. I, I I can guarantee it's it's here on the um on the on the emulation just because I like I th I don't know if it reloads the save um like as part of the emulator if when you press restart or whether it's just like it's it's just a uh, you know the emulator knows what the save is that's it yeah come pay. There he is, the smelly boy Wario himself. And who could this game have been presented by? None other than the only people who ever make Mario games. Except, uh, Mario's Fundamentals and Mario Teaches Typing and Mario Travels Through Time. I still don't know what's with Wario's face. There's something up with it. Uh, and then I also assume you just sit on the screen for infinite times, don't you? You have to reset if you want to continue. And the game also does a does it acknowledge the fact that you've uh, actually beaten ba uh, not Bowser, defeated Warrior, or is it? Nope, you are right where I was before. That is perfectly fine. Uh, just before I head off, what was this thing? This is the, the lottery. You wanna enter it and you wanna win? I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. And, and I mean, a lot of games do that where it's like the the save doesn't acknowledge that you've been the boss because it's just like where you've just been in. Levels out of the castles, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Alright, so thank you all for watching this, uh, for watching me struggle through, uh, through all of this stuff. Um, but I got there, I got there in the end, so I'm happy. Big thanks for all the tips, all the little secrets, all the little clues here and there, and yeah, I, I, I'm curious about how, uh, yeah, I, I'm curious about how, um, how all of you uh, stream this game, and just like, what's all the, the interesting little things that you do with that. Yeah, nah, thank you. Thank you all for, for watching. Um, tune in for more exciting random games that may exist, uh, or correcting the record on other games that I have played poorly. I'll figure out what, what those other games are. 
I may never leave, maybe. Alright, thank you guys very much.